This is a private, urgent communication to the Zorka High Council to request a summit of Empress to determine and make a judgment upon what has now been called the Earth Crisis. From what we now know from our agents on the ground regarding the fate of that planet and this entire system surrounding it, we are now faced with a choice to intervene or not. And we believe that all forms of life are precious. It is the foundation upon which we stand as a proud race here on Zorka. It is my request that we have this meeting with the High Council, and it is of the utmost importance, because as we have seen before, when we fail to intervene, once the planet becomes aware of the looming threat, it becomes completely destabilized. It is my hope and resolve that we come to an agreement at once. Empress Emmy out. Empress, we have received your communication and have convened this meeting at your behest. A quite unprecedented request. These are quite unprecedented times, Emperor. A waste of time is what it is. We are here now, and you know how important it is to us. We have an obligation to, to... what? To do what we believe is right and help the people of Earth. We will do no such thing. You know what will happen if we inject ourselves into their affairs. We've seen it all before. Emperor, let us not undergo this tire dispute once again. We need to extract our agents before the planet is destroyed. Enough. Is there time? Not much, Emperor. That settles it then. We will dispatch our last agent to Earth to make a more informed decision. Send in Raphael. Greetings, Emperors. Raphael, what do you know of planet Earth? It is a water planet, many billions of light years away. That is all I know, Emperor. The planet is inhabited by millions of humans, animals, and plants. What do you know of the human species? I know nothing, Empress. Humans are quite undeveloped species. Hence, they destroyed the planet and their natural habitats, but they do show potential and their value to us and themselves if we help them. We have been tracking a massive asteroid set upon a collision course with Earth, which would result in an annihilation event that could destroy the entire planet. We can save them. Are they worth saving? No, they are not. That is your mission. Go now to Earth, discover what drives them to do what they do and report back to the Council. Some of your comrades from Zorka have already infiltrated the planet and learned their ways. They are in deep cover. You will not know their identities or receive assistance until it is necessary. Go now, and Godspeed. I will not let you down, Emperors. Definitely x-ray vision. Definitely. Okay, I've got one. Would you rather be born with superhuman speed or have the ability to impersonate anybody in the world? What? <laughs> that's easy. I'm the fastest one in this group and you know it. Dude, that's the best you can come up with. Impersonate anybody in the world. No, Stevie, I get it. Tommy, you have to look at the big picture. Imagine all the school we can miss or all the pizza we can order. Impersonating Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Keep dreaming, Julian. I'll be waking you up for school every morning until your 18th birthday. <laughs> Can we go to the beach or what? Well, we were waiting for your sister, but it looks like she's going with her friends. Very good, Osage boy. Rosa, those are bad words. No way, you speak Portuguese? Don't repeat that, Stevie. Well, should we go? I need to run a little errand while you guys play. So, you're not coming with us? Awesome! Let's go to the beach! Yeah! yeah! Woo! So, Julian, the big one three, how does it feel to be a big man around the boys? Let's be real. I've always been a man among the boys. 
You're right. You still sleep with the nightlife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is your mom gonna be mad that I brought you? I mean, I still only have my temps, but my dad says I need all the practice I can get. Only if Rosa brats on me, but probably not. No, I can't stand that bitch. She's so jealous and weird. She goes to my stuff all the time. I've actually seen her wearing my clothes. Ew, that's nasty. Our housekeeper leaves cleaning supplies everywhere all the time. If she leaves something in my room, I just throw it out. <laughs> I know mom's busy and stuff, and I don't really care that she works a lot, but why not get to somebody decent? Somebody that actually cares about my family. Rosa sucks. <laughs> we should mess with her. <laughs> yeah, what should we do? Hmm, laxatives and her food? <laughs> hey, Linz, um, do you have my phone? No. Oh shit, I also forgot the sunscreen. Go on ahead and get us a good spot. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. There's my Care Bear. All right, Joey, you don't have to call me that anymore. Not in the third grade. I've been trying to text you all day. You keep on leaving me on red. Yeah, I've just been really busy. Busy changing the world? <laughs> Grades are a little more important to some people than surfing, Joey. Fishers, what do you think you're doing, you wimps? Yeah, losers, you got sand all over us. Look, we don't want any trouble. Yeah, we're just here to have fun. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I ain't gonna cut it. You sure that ain't your ball? Looks like it's ours now. Look, just give us our ball back and we'll leave. Ha! Thought it wasn't yours. Well, it is, so give it back. You want your ball back? You want it? Go get it! No one is getting that ball. No lifeguard means no swimming. Remember, Ju Ju Julian? Let's go get the ball, you baby. Yeah, why are you so scared? You guys are a bunch of butt lickers! What did he just say to us? Let's get him! No! no! Hey, Joey. Oh, hey, Harmony. I saw you surfing out there. You've got some major style on that surfboard, Jojo. Yeah, there were some swells out there that are at least five feet tall. I was shredding pretty hard until the last wave took me out. I banged up my elbow pretty bad. Ouch. You could be a professional, you know. Ah, uh, I don't know. I just like riding waves and hanging out with my bros. Are they still out there? Yeah, but I'm done for the day. Yeah, me too. My parents have a house at Atlantic Dunes, and if you want, you can come surfing there without them. But only if you want.
my life. Thank you. Thank you. You will live. Come. Did you see that? This man just saved me. That was crazy. I told you, Julian. There's no lifeguard. Oh, you the lifeguard. You okay, Julian? Mister, you like came out of nowhere. Oh, I'm not from here. She looks European. Are you European? I think he's European. Joey back there with Harmony. I know, Bianca, I don't care. Ooh, okay. Is that Julian out there with his friends? Yeah, he's fine. He won't go on that water. It's riptide season. It's great for surfing. But who cares? Shut up. Linz, he's a loser. Come on. She's so cute. God. Hi, Mom. Hey, Lindsay, how's the beach? How's your brother and his friends? Isn't the water choppy? I have told you before, there have been 13 riptide fatalities this year alone. You know they're not supposed to be out in that water. Let me talk to him. Julian, baby, were you out in the water? Are you okay? What man saved you? Lifeguard, there is no lifeguard. Are you hurt? Honey, that's why Rose is there with you. What do you mean? Where the hell is... She is supposed to be with you at all times. You know, that's it. She is fired. And this time for good. Are you okay, baby? Now, let me talk to your sister. Oh, there it is again. That's interesting. What? What is happening? Yes, sir. Yes, all warning protocols. No, sir. Um, no, sir. I'll be right here. Status report, Ned. What was that? I don't know, sir. I don't know. Sir, it's the strangest thing. It looks like the Earth's atmosphere was momentarily penetrated by some sort of energy field. An asteroid? Space debris? A missile? No, sir. It's not an object. Whatever it was, it's gone now. What about the surface disturbance? This is not all that anomalous. We've seen these types of atmospheric interferences before, some fairly recently. I know, we've been monitoring the numbers. Again, what about the surface disturbances? Do you have my coordinates? They're right here, sir. Thank you. I'm calling this in. We're gonna have to send a team out to investigate. Sir, I see this as an opportunity to extend my field work. I request assignment to this investigation. John, you look a little more concerned than usual, sir. How bad is it? Is there another one? This is the fifth atmospheric disturbance in less than six months. Whatever re-enters from space is so quick, we couldn't have made it. Not even the Chinese have this kind of tech. Take her with you and see what you can find. Keep it tight. But sir, she doesn't have clearance. Now! Get me the commander. Yeah. I see. What are the coordinates? Where? These are the same disturbance patterns? They're coming in more frequently. Is there any dark matter residue? Listen, I want you to investigate this with authority, but keep to the NASA cover story. We, we have to maintain full secrecy. 
I need accurate intel at all times. You understand the implications, right? <sighs> Were there any witnesses? I see. <sighs> I'll have to report this to the Defense Department at the White House. John, when you find him, you know what to do. Terminate! Life of precious. It is the foundation upon which we stand as a proud race here on Zorka.